So let's keep moving with our project, with our uh, process. As you can see, our image uh, looks much better at the moment. It's got uh, this uh, look we were looking for. It started to look like normal picture at the moment. It has this beautiful background behind. Of course, it's still not done, but at the moment it has the shape i could use this word we were looking for so now we're going to work with um the things we already have um and later we will add just some uh, additional stock maybe to fill that area over here but as i said uh our image looks uh the way i were looking for uh but of course it looks um it looks very very strict I would say it doesn't have the softness it doesn't look so natural yet so the thing we have to do we have to do so we have to add some elements to our background to make this background and image looks more natural and more mysterious uh, and more uh, softened uh, as we don't need our stock images anymore I think to um, improve our workflow I will remove this Photoshop should work a little bit faster because of this unfortunately every stock pictures I will just keep this one every stock pictures um, making our uh, works a bit slower so as I said we have to add some elements uh, to this picture to make it look more mysterious more softness and more natural uh, so let's work with the composition a little bit, composition of our background. Of course, as I said, it has to be on our background. So we have to do this under our layer with model, with the gear and, um, and this uh, grass area with this uh, land. But I'm going to do this... Uh, into my uh, background group as I don't want to do uh, this um, I'm sorry as I don't want to do this mm, uh, layer mode uh, layer panel really messy so let's open our background group and I'm going to do everything on the top to cover uh, this area and the thing I want to do, I'd like to add some uh, smoke into this area. I'd like to make it uh, a little bit mysterious, a little bit smoky. So I'm going to create new layer and I'm going to call this layer clouds. There you go. As we can see, our colors are selected as a black and white, which are perfect colors for clouds. So we don't have to change anything here. Just go to filter, render, and click on clouds. Okay, there you go. There is a thing we were looking for. But of course, to make this invisible, as we covered all of our background, we have to make some parts, these black areas actually, we have to make it invisible. So the thing we have to do, we have to change our blend mode into screen as um, this mode changing all the black colors black areas into uh, invisible as you can see it looks a bit a uh, bit better I could say but there's not really thing we're looking for because I would like to add this smoky effect only to cover this uh, mountains I don't want to cover uh, this beautiful sky so the thing we have to do, we have to create layer mask on this layer and paint using brush uh, and of course and brush with color uh, black. So let's clear this over here like this. And of course we have some of this nice smoky effect on our mountains. If you would say it's not strong enough there's always a choice we can duplicate this layer and I'm going to manipulate this a little bit this new layer I'm going to drag it up I don't like to cover this edges over here and then I'm going to clean this area here a little bit more
as you see it's not really difficult very simple uh, thing and it looks a little bit better in my opinion at the moment but after we add this um, clouds I don't think this edge here this um, field edge looks natural it looks a little bit like our background is cut was uh, cut from uh, this field so we have to do something with this field to connect these two areas once again to connect our background with um, this field area so let's uh, zoom this a little bit and as you can see this edge is too sharp and I would say at the moment so the thing uh, we have to do of course let's go back to the girl group a uh, little bit I'm going to put these two at the moment, these two layers before to one group to not make it messy. Remember, the less layers we, we do, so like if we pack everything into the groups, our layer mod would look really, um, really tidy. We can keep everything in order. Thanks, Dad. So, Control G to put this to the group. I'm going to call this group Clouds. There you go. Let's close the background group and go back to the group called Gur. Go back to our field, click uh, layer mask, of course. <coughs> Sorry for that. Choose uh, brush once again. Color black is already set. Zoom it quite much to see everything and be really careful. Do this. Be really careful eight paint over here to make this edge soften as you can see. You have to be really really careful. Do this slowly. I always think my hands is uh, my hand is a little bit too shaky for this kind of things, but I'm trying to do my best. Without uh, the clouds area, it wouldn't uh, look really nice. But thanks that we have, we add these clouds, this uh, thing, uh, this bore, this edge, it looks really nice and natural. Don't have to be worried about anything. There you go. I try to make this stronger a little bit. Take a look and in my opinion, this looks a bit better now when the edge is softened. It looks like the clouds are going out from the grass from our field behind there. And once again over here. Remember to keep the edges in the way you like and uh, this edge doesn't has to be so soft It can be sharper, but take a look and in my opinion this edge looks much better Remember about one thing to save your project every After every few steps, but as you can see uh, It's saved as a my project and it's quite um, important to sometimes save your project um, as a two different uh, files if you would change your mind you can always go back to your project and uh, without losing all of your work so I'm going to save this project now my project one 
So now if I'd like to go back to this step, I will go back to project one. If we'd like to go back to a previous step, I just uh, going to choose my project. So as we uh, finish this, uh, there's still a few more things. Now I can close this uh, girl, actually not. And I'm going uh, to work a little bit more here inside because I'm going to add some uh, clouds on the grass, uh, some smoke, but not so much as on the background. But of course, if we'd like, if we'd like to connect these two areas, we have to do this really soft. We have to do this smoothly. So create new layer. Smoke. This time I'm going to call this smoke on the field. Filter, render, and clouds. Once again, do the same step as before, change to screen. <coughs> and for me, this clouds, uh, this time, I would say it's so so. I'm going to make this a little bit blurry. And take a look if it looks a bit better. Actually not, uh, maybe. So I keep this like this. It looks more natural with our background. But of course, we don't need this area above here. So we have to clean all of this. As we don't want uh, this smoky thing cover our uh, girl. Create layer mask. B brush once again. A bit bigger. And clear this over the sky, of course, as we don't want to cover our sky anymore. Just like this. Of course, on our girl a little bit. <coughs> and now we can change opacity and try to do this nicely here on the grass. There you go. And I think it looks really nice, a little bit mysterious. Um, it looks a little bit cold, but of course later on uh, we're going to change the colors a little bit on this layer. But I think um, we're pretty much done with some uh, special effects like uh, clouds maybe on this border we have to work a little bit more over here if we want to correct anything just change the color to white and take a look how simple it is to paint on our layer mask so there you go uh, i think we're pretty much uh, done with uh, this additional effect as smoke uh, clouds i'm going to put this smoke to the new group even if it's one layer group i'm going to call this smoke there you go we can close and as you see we still have everything in order. We add some some nice effect, but we still keep everything in the groups, uh, so it's not messy at all. Uh, if uh, some part is too uh, too strong, of course we can always change opacity uh, a little bit, as I'm doing right now. set um, uh, the opacity as much as you want, as much as you like. And there you go. We still have the same number of group and we add some really nice, um, <coughs> uh, nice effect. Um, 
there will be probably a <coughs> few more things we're going to work on our uh, <coughs> uh, our background. I'm sorry for um, for this uh, sound. Uh, later on, we have to work with our saturation, of course, with the colors of the image and add some uh, more things. But I would say we are pretty much done with editing uh, our uh, background.